Hey, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. In today's video, we're gonna talk all about carpet beetles and what they eat and some prevention tips and how you can get rid of them. So carpet beetles, they're pretty interesting. They get that name not only because of their coloration, but a lot of times you'll find them hidden within your carpet, right? But they don't just specifically feed on carpet. They actually really like to feed on animal type products. So it could be like silk, wool, leather, um, different things like that, right? And typically these days, carpet isn't made of natural materials like that. So sometimes they'll hide out there, but they don't usually eat carpet in that sense. Now, sometimes they will eat synthetic materials, but it's kind of, they have the right seasoning on it, right? You know, where it, it, maybe it's sweat or oil or pet fur, different things like that. And one of the most common things that they like to eat is going to be actually fur from your pets. So when it comes to prevention, cleaning up that pet fur can be one of the best ways to not have an issue come about, right? And so carpet beetles, they come in from the outdoors. And it's interesting that adult forms of carpet beetles can actually fly so they can spread relatively quickly. But for the most part, they're going to be coming into your home through cracks and crevices. So that could be entry points like broken screen doors, windows that don't close all the way underneath doors. So on the prevention side, a couple things you can do, you know, one is definitely going to be cleaning up that pet hair, vacuuming frequently around your home, and again, sealing those entry points. So that could be making sure screens are fully intact, there isn't openings where pests can get in, um, as windows are closed, making sure there's weather stripping underneath so there's not a, a big gap where pests can get in, uh, installing door sweeps underneath doors so it's harder for pests to get in in that aspect. But these pests of carpet beetles, they don't just, like I said, hide out in carpet because they'll be eating things like um, clothing. Uh, they can hide out in attics, in air ducts, in vents under the floorboards. Like I said, they eat animal fur and hair products. So again, a lot of times what they'll do is they might be feeding on you know, mice hair or rodent hair uh, in the walls, different things like that. And again, these carpet beetles, they're very tiny. In most cases, you're really only going to find them or actually notice them when they're in their adult form. And unfortunately, at the same time, it's really in that larva stage where they do most of the damage. Where again, the adult forms, they don't really feed on the kind of products like the, the larva stages do. So you're not really going to be finding the adults feeding on the carpets, the rugs, the pillowcases, the leather, different things like that, right? Sometimes the adult forms will eat dried food goods like flour, um, grains, rice, different things like that. So another prevention thing that you really want to do too, and again with most pests, is to make sure that your food is properly sealed in containers. Uh, again, when on the clothing side of things, there's the vacuuming like we talked about. And then also, if you're sealing clothes, you can dry clean them to again, make sure that it kills off any larva or pupa or adult stages that might be hiding out on the clothing. And then sealing them in plastic containers where these pests can't get in. And again, these pests can travel and multiply all around your home. They actually spread very quickly. And like I had said earlier, it's really hard to detect the, the egg at the larva stage, the pupa stage, because again, a lot of times it'll blend right in with the carpet or where they're hiding out. So in most cases, you're not gonna notice them until you already have an issue. So in reality, it's really hard to get rid of them yourself. In most cases, you're gonna need to hire a pest control service to get rid of them. And it's not gonna be an overnight fix, unfortunately. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to kill off the ones that are there. And it could take multiple treatments, multiple cracks and crevice treatments around your home. And then you're also gonna to wanna to have a prevention strategy in place to keep them from coming back. So that could require a few treatments after that initial one to get rid of the bulk of these carpet beetles. So again, hopefully these tips, you got some value out of them. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And then if you are looking to hire a pest control service, again, head on over to rovepestcontrol.com. And then if you're a first time customer with us, be sure to head to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your information for $50 off your first service with us. So if you're a brand new customer, 
if you do have a carpet beetle issue or any type of other pest control needs, be sure to head on over to rovepestcontrol.com. And like I said, go to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off to get that great discount. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.